Greg and I have been sitting on the side of a devil enclosure and it's about time I meet the lucky devil living inside. Her name is Kelly and I am in love. Uh, look, I mentioned that devils are really misunderstood. They all have incredibly different personalities and I think that's something really important to remember. Wildlife, often we just tar them with the same brush. We, we see dogs, we see cats, we see humans and we go, oh, this one's cheeky, this one's shy, this one's this. Wildlife is exactly the same, it's just more subtle. So let's talk about Callie. She is naughty, she is hyperactive, and she just never, ever stops. Um, she's a full-on, <laughs> full-on little devil, this one, but... Oh, oh hi, Kelly. Okay. Yes. There we are. There we are. Hi, beautiful girl. So this is what they do with their mum, you see, is they bite onto the skin and they sort of hang on for a stage. So we think that's what they're replicating when they do sort of this biting. So you're essentially Kelly's mum, aren't you? Yeah, ugliest mum in the world. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we all draw a short story every now and then. So her mum actually died of facial tumour disease, um, very sadly, and there were four of them in the pouch, so a full load, but they were absolutely emaciated. They just didn't get what they needed from mum. So one, unfortunately, couldn't be saved. It was just the little runt was just far too, far too emaciated. But amazingly, this one and her two brothers survived. And to give you an idea, I had some little orphan pinky devils, so ones that were so small they didn't have fur yet that we were raising. They weighed 100 grams. Uh, this little lady here was fully furred and weighed only 120 grams. So she was very, very underweight. So look, she's done really, really well to survive. And normally we wouldn't raise them like this. They're raised for release, but we're hoping to use her uh, for a bit of a study into the composition of their milk. So we can try and develop a devil specific formula to hand raise orphan ones in the future. But yeah, very misunderstood, aren't they? You just wouldn't expect to see this ferocious animal just having a cuddle. She's adorable. She seems very, very calm, very, very comfortable around you. Look, she, she's, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, she's having a good day. I reckon she's probably in her entire life only sat this calmly four or five times. So there you go, calming effect you have on Tassie Devils, the, the Devil Whisperer we'll call you. <laughs> the Devil Whisperer, what an honour. 